team has been following these legislative developments throughout the day. We start with the piece of legislation debated in the Senate today that would shield pesticide manufacturers from civil lawsuits despite the health risks associated with these products. Local 5's Megan McPherson joins us from the Capitol. Megan, debate over this bill took quite some time. Yes, yeah, Stephanie, it did indeed. And for many uh, Iowans in recent years, being diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma has become reality. Some doctors here in Iowa believe that those cancer cases are a direct result of using Roundup, the well-known weed killer. And despite widespread opposition from Democrats and some local organizations, Republican-led legislation that would prohibit Iowans from suing pesticide makers about over health problems related to their products is now heading to Governor Reynolds' desk. Cancer rates in Iowa are rising. And certain chemical products used by farmers and landowners across the state have been found to increase the risk of developing health problems. That's including chemicals like Roundup and Paraquat, which study after study has already demonstrated will increase your risk of developing either cancer or Parkinson's. But a piece of legislation debated on the Senate floor Tuesday would give pesticide manufacturers full defense from civil liability. Republicans argue that parent company Bayer, which produces Roundup, should be protected since a federally approved warning label is printed on every bottle. What it does is prevents a company, any company who, who manufactures these agricultural chemicals, it prevents them from being sued for following the law. But opponents of the bill say that the warning label doesn't outwardly display the product's health risks and therefore isn't doing enough to inform the public. If we in this chamber eliminate their duty to warn of health risks by saying that an Easting warning label from the EPA, quote, shall be sufficient, unquote, then they have complete lifetime li immunity from liability. Despite back and forth debate, the bill has passed out of the Senate and could now be signed into law. And Stephanie, I also want to note that legislation very similar to this bill that passed today here in Iowa has also been introduced this year in Idaho, Florida and Missouri. Legislators in Florida and Idaho struck down those related bills, while in Missouri, that legislation is still being considered. Reporting live at the State House, Megan McPherson, Local 5 News.